Veteran politician and freedom fighter Sekota Wina has died aged 91. Mr. Wina died today in the morning at the University Teaching Hospital UTH where he was admitted. His firstborn son, Wina Wina, has confirmed the death of his father in an interview with ZRMBC News in Lusaka. Mr. Wina says the funeral is being held at his father's farm in Mimosa area in Chilanga district. And I my, my father was uh, admitted um, two days ago for what we thought was a routine medical checkup. But yesterday, things deteriorated to the worst. And um, we were informed very early this morning that, you know, he was on oxygen. So, of course, we were already at the hospital anyway. And um, unfortunately, at 6 a.m. this morning, um, we lost him. And acting secretary to cabinet, Patrick Kangwa, says Mr. Wina was among the heroes of Zambia's liberation struggle and served in Dr. Kenneth Kaunda's first cabinet in 1964 as Zambia's first minister of health. The acting secretary to the cabinet says government is consulting Mr. Wina's family on funeral arrangements, which shall be announced later. And President Hakainde Hichilema is saddened by the death of veteran politician and freedom fighter Sekota Wina, who he has described as a statesman. President Hichilema says Mr. Wina was part of a generation of brave freedom fighters who sacrificed their personal welfare to liberate the nation from colonial rule. In his message of condolences to the Wina family, President Hichilema has said Mr. Wina risked his life and that of his family to liberate the nation. This is according to a statement issued to ZRMBC News in Lusaka by presidential spokesperson Anthony Wadia. Mr. Wina was the member of the Legislative Council as well as a member of the National Assembly and is served in various ministerial portfolios. And ZNBC's Brian Mwale sat down with Mr. Wiener in March this year and he gives us details of how the interview unfolded. Those days I went red, he was mad. <laughs> and we all knew, we knew him. He chuckles as he narrates a story of how then President Kenneth Kaunda got infuriated in Kinshasa when a Zambia Airways plane was using fuel to take off after attending then Zaire's 12th independence anniversary celebrations in 1972. Sikota Wina was the last surviving member of the first cabinet of Dr. Kaunda in 1964 and had retired to his Mimosa house. In March this year, we sat down with him, talked about his illustrious career, having served as First Minister of Health, Minister of Local Government and Housing, Minister of Information and Broadcasting and Tourism, among others. His career of many years is summed up in these artifacts dotted all over his house. This is a, a summary of the culture of, 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 of the culture of, uh, of Zambia. It, it's just it's just a, a table of, uh, of all the collection that has been taken over during the past few years. Mm -hmm. Despite having lost his wife, Princess Nakatindi Wina, a politician and member of the royal family who was always by his side in 2012, Mr. Wina forged ahead with life and took to writing. The past few years, have, uh, they, 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 they have been fine. I think I have nothing to complain about. I, I managed to have one book published. I don't know that I've seen it the night without a president. And I'm in, on, in, the, in the process of, of writing or completing another book, which is a review of uh, Kenneth, Kaunda's, uh, Kenneth Kaunda's policies and what it meant. The 91-year-old noted that a corrupt-free Zambia, one that provides opportunities without discrimination, is what he and his friends fought for during the struggle for independence. A Zambia without corruption, a Zambia without, without any, any special areas for special people, but a Zambia free for all, and whose opportunities are also given freely to all the Zambians. Lately, Mr. Wina had suffered ill health which led to his right leg being amputated and had a nurse dedicated to him. But how did this freedom fighter, who also served as deputy speaker of the National Assembly from 1991 to 1993, wanted to be remembered in death? I would like to be remembered, as the Zambians already know me, as Kotawina. And that, 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 that is cutting across all tribal lines, 
cutting across all provincial boundaries and development for all those people we call Zambians. The death of Mr. Wina, who was born on August 31, 1931, marks the end of the 15-man cabinet that Zambia's founding president, Kenneth Kaunda, assembled after independence. Brian Mwale reporting. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, leave a comment and